Hi, we are Tony and Amber from New Zealand. Come join us on our journeys on our ex-rental canal boat. week we make our way from the top of the Saar to Tool and we pack up the boat for winter and head off home again. So this morning we are travelling along the top of the hill um, on the Mano Rhine and we have got massive big lakes this side and on this side and they are the reservoirs for the canals. Um, and we are making our way to Nancy and then to Tool. So they have remote control mowers to mow all these walls which is far safer I imagine. It's so beautiful to green bank through here. The air is so crisp and clear and it's just beautiful. our first lock. Now we know we've done this one before, it's a very big lock um, and they were working on it last time when we were here so it all looks like it's going but there is a boat in the lock. This is a beautiful and gentle lift. 15 nearly 16 meters this one. The floating bollards it just makes it so much easier. It's the top of the door that we can just see coming into view but it's all concrete up there and then we go through a little hole at the bottom. One lock has taken the place of six other small locks that are just to the right. Whenever we're going along, we're always looking for this sort of siding here, which means it's usually pretty good to green bank. And we're just thinking how lovely it would be on this lake here. It's actually really lovely. Just had a beautiful lunch in a little port called Lagarde. A lovely restaurant here. It's been very, very nice. So we just drove back to the boatyard part of the port and got diesel. So we're totally full for the winter season because you want to leave your tanks full so they don't have any oxygen and which creates moisture, which creates rust in your tank. And we're just going back to our little spot that we had. early this morning cycling to a Bricant shop so we can get there before you know, we, can, so we can get on with our day. Well we went to the Bricant, it was a very unusual one, it was in the old shoe factory which was massive, lots of household goods but nothing much, got a couple of little tiny things but nothing of any consequence. So we're on our way and we've had a few issues with um, a diesel leak which Tony is trying to work out but he hasn't got the right tool so we're going to try and get to a Brico and see if we can get um, some more tools to be able to try and work out how to fix it. Another lovely little port. Looks like a Martin Bashur up ahead. Same boat as us. coming into the outskirts of Nancy and you can start seeing the big salt company that um, 
extracts salt out of the rocks. It's a huge, big complex. So we have finally made it back to Nancy. We had a bit of a hard day yesterday with our fuel leak and um, the throttle issues, but uh, Tony is on it, onto it this morning. He's been down trying to take photos of the parts and it's been quite a mission. And uh, so his mission today is to go and find some pieces of, you know, some tools and some bits for it so that he can get it going and properly and get it sorted. And I'm just gonna be doing grocery shopping and cleaning. One week out from leaving and I have to pack down my painting, which is for an exhibition later in the year. boat with Dave and Kathy who are on their, bo their boats over there and they've bought snails for entree. It's bloody marvellous. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. So this morning we are off to Paris. We're catching the buck train and we're going to the flea market there which is every weekend, well, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and it's got it's massive apparently so we're gonna treat ourselves and go there for the day and uh, but it'll probably be our last sort of holiday day because once we get back we'll head to Tool and start getting the boat ready for winter. boat after our long trip to Paris and the market. It was interesting, it wasn't quite as good as we thought it was going to be. There was a lot of um, you know, phone covers and cheap clothing but we sort of stumbled across the Brocant area which was quite good. Not all the shops were open but it was good and we got a few little treasures. So this morning I've been cleaning out clothes. I've got so many clothes on the boat, it's not funny. And um, so just turns on some washing and I'm just going to take it to the laundromat to get it dry and I don't know if you can see but it is looking very very dark so I'm racing up to the laundromat and Tony has gone for a ride to get some glycol so he can put the antifreeze in the engine and get that all organized for the winter and we decided we'd do it here while we're in Nancy it's probably better availability than until. Tony is just emptying the water cylinder, hot water cylinder and all the pipes so there is no water left in the system to freeze. We are leaving Nancy and making our way um, up towards Tull and straight away our um, throttle is so much better. So we have left Nancy and we've travelled all the way up here and then we've got to go into the river here and we are now at the lock and there's a red light and there's nobody there and we have rung the number on the sign which is over here, nothing, nothing in the book, nothing. So Tone's gone up there to see if we can get some action. Just going down onto the Moselle River, just handed in our remote to this guy up here, 
because there was nobody at the last lock and it's they've done it remotely so um and then onwards to tall so we are coming to the end of the marm and this is the moselle that's going across here and going to the right is up going up to metz and up to germany and going to the left is going to tall and across towards paris sparkling waters beautiful we're just going past pompeii Gonna head on down to uh, Liverdun. Just coming up to our next lock, but we're just passing an old, I think it's a mill or power station, we're not too sure. But the next big river lock is here and they're just preparing. You can see the red and green light up there. Cool. This is a nice gentle one, only 2.7 meters deep. Um, nice and easy. We've got some little fellow travelers with us this time. This is just so beautiful for our sort of last sort of hurrah. It's the weather's come right from the morning and it is just beautiful. See there's some new houses coming in. It's so pretty and peaceful. Not another boat in sight. on the other side. This is just absolutely stunning. It'd be some of the best we've seen in our three months. How's that for a reflection? Perfect. So we're just looking for our park for the night. I think it's just behind this little bank. We sort of tuck in um, just up ahead. So we have just come off the Moselle just into this little tiny little inlet and we have got the spot for the night. It's like beautiful. Look at that. We are walking up the hill and it's quite a mission. singing inside. This church is from 1184 and it was burnt in the sieges of 1487 I think it was and it's been rebuilt several times but it's a jolly good walk up here. The city, down there is the beautiful Moselle River over there and our boat is sort of just in behind those trees over there beautiful evening lovely walk this is one of the laveries which is like a laundry area which they had all in lots of the little cities all the little towns for the women to come and do the washing in it's very nicely preserved. We are always so impressed. There are amazing veggie gardens everywhere you go. We have been told that this is where our Madelines originate from. the most craziest lightning storm last night this whole hill was just exploding in light it was so loud it's the most intense um, lightning I've ever been into it was just incredible but woke into a beautiful calm day and we're gonna make our way to Tool today <music>
first lock of the day and we did our Google Translate and it works straight away. Fantastic. So you can see these big whirls here and this is where the water's being pushed up from underneath which makes these ones quite gentle. was definitely a bit slower but very very gentle that took about half an hour to go up that one um, and it was 7.3 meters so we've now got another 8 k's to the next one and the weather's looking a little bit dodgy thunder and lightning happening so we're going to put the roof in. Yucky! It's not very nice out there. It is absolutely pouring down to see our archaic wiper and this is our last big lock of our season and apparently it's meant to be quite a gusher so we're right at the back of the lock. Turned out in the rain like a good man. He's such a saint. I do love him so much. And we're just about to close the doors. It's all good. And when you can see, it's starting to come in. Apparently when Tony came through here last week, with, a couple of weeks ago with Mac, he was, they were right up the front, he said he could hardly hold on. It was such a strong current. So the clues even advised us to stay down this end. I don't know whether you can notice, but there's like shock waves coming down. We made it to Tool, to the lovely Porter Tool, right outside the Capitan's office. I was just wash washing off some of the debris from the storm last night. We had sticks and twigs and all sorts of stuff all over us. Um, but it's been a long day. And, uh, and good though, we're here now and we're going to have a couple of days just in this port before we go back just up two locks to the actual boat yard. We just walked from the port and going into the little old part of the city is properly moated by the look of it. it looks a pretty impressive entrance so today is a public holiday bank holiday as they call it um so there is just nothing open and nobody around it's very very quiet end of the barracksy things so they're quite wide this is the other side of those sheds that you could see which is the part of the ramparts and they're all hollow with these huge big sheds in them which Tony reckons were the garrisons and this is like a big moat and the entrance to the city so it's a really walled city quite quite reinforced and it's got a proper drawbridge as well which is still there which is great that they've preserved it so from the other side you can see all those ramparts, they just keep going right round the whole city. So we just had a lovely dinner in the little restaurant behind me and just going back to the boat we have spent the day cleaning and um, Tony did cleaning the bilge bits and pieces and I cleaned bathrooms. Uh, so we're going to spend two days in the port and tour and then uh, hopefully we can get up to the other port where we're going to get lifted out. So this morning we are making lists and getting all our ducks in a row for what we've got to do to get the boat out of the water. Got quite a few jobs to do. Um, I want to repair some of the curtains that the backing has torn off them. Tony's got to do um, some patterns for the roof. We've got the roof is a little bit uh, dodgy and so we're wanting to get some bracing made for it to get that stronger. So he's wanting to make some patterns for that. Um, there's general cleaning, packing, you know, and it all sort of, because we um, are here in the port and we're not in the yard and we're still in the water, there's sort of a, an order that's got to be done and so it's a little bit of a fluffing around today.
it's raining we have been going through all our clothes and we bought these vacuum pack bags that we're going to shrink them down and stow all our clothes here so they stay nice and dry and fresh while we're away. So this morning we cycled down to the yard and to go and have a chat to Jean-Paul and Angelique and of course it's France, they're not there. <laughs> and the worker said mm, sometime this afternoon so we'll go back again then but on the way back we went and cycled to the bricolage which is the hardware store to see what is there and how big it is so that when Tony comes back next year when he builds cupboards and bits and pieces he's got some idea what they have and what's available in that store so it was big big store so it was really good so we can pretty much get everything we need um yeah so it was it was fruitful um and so we're just gonna have some lunch and just twitch around getting a few things sorted before we go back up to the yard this afternoon so this morning i'm up and off with the last of our washing all the sheets and towels and everything and i'm off to find the laundromat to get everything all washed before we pack it all away so Going through all the, I think I'm going to end up going through the ramparts. Into the tunnel, very cool. A massive day cleaning the boat is like sterile <laughs> and uh, just taking our bags and we're just heading off to the hotel tonight beautiful foggy morning so we're just about to go and get in the boat and take her down to the yard just about a K down the road, two k's down the road last vlog of the season and it's all over so we're at the yard and I'm just talking to Angelique and she said that we can, when John Paul gets back we're going to be first out hopefully so fingers crossed yay so this is the yard it's quite a working yard and there's lots of boats here She's on the move. The boys have got it under control. So she's moving. There's all the weed around the prop. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how long that weed is. It's dragging out the back. Bloody weed, it's a pain in the ass. So now the fun begins. We have to unpack the cover and work out how we're going to actually tie it over the boat because it's a little bit big, but we'll sort it out. Bought these little clips. So we're just putting these on where we've cut the canvas to fit. We're stopping for a break to have our pizza and we're in the yard still. They have a little pizza um, van here and our boat's way down on the corner there. And they've got this really cool little veranda with the pizza being cooked, it's great. 
So she's just about all tied up now, just the last bit at the end, while Tony is um, emptying the last bit of water out of the boat and putting all his tools away. It has been a very, very long day, but a good one. We managed to get her all tidied up and our little clips for the cover worked really well, really pleased with them. So we've just got to tighten all this bit up. But um, it's been a good day, so tomorrow we're off flying home. season I oh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and um, we'll see you maybe next year <laughs>